interesting story about Kenyatta National Hospital. A two-week-old twin has been stolen from the corridors of the referral hospital. Two women reportedly offered to hold the twins while their father processed his wife's admission before one of the women escaped to the baby. Kenich says it has invited the police to investigate the incident that once again puts the hospital's management of patients on the spot, as Mercy Kandier reports. Brighton Oko's feeble hands yearn for his mother's touch, but that is not possible. At just two weeks old, his mother is admitted at the Kenyatta National Hospital and his twin brother is missing. It was around 1.30 when my wife started feeling unwell. Job, who hails from Kangemi, rushed his wife, a mother of twins, to the Kenyatta National Hospital at 2 a.m. The mother and the twins were kept waiting for a doctor at the accidents and emergency section. When I went to the doctor, I told him that my wife has been written that it should be seen urgently, so kindly assist. The doctor told me that and he wants the room to be cleaned, so I wait the room to be cleaned first. Job says they waited and then waited, but the doctor did not attend to his sick wife. He went to check if the room she was to be attended to was cleaned. Nothing had changed. My wife is still here. My kids are just with me here in this Kobaridi Yote. Surely, and what to do for two weeks? What am I supposed to do? Fearing the worst for his wife, Job decided to record a statement of the frustrating wait. So when I reached there, I told them it is it's happened this and this. They told me that it should be horror, not in a written form. But I told them I want it to be in a written form. So that if, in case anything happens, I should be able to know who to blame. But the worst was yet to come. Nine hours later, the doctor would attend to his sick wife at 11.30 a.m. He was asked to will her to the first floor. Torn between helping his wife and monitoring the twins, Job says he resorted to giving the twins to two women who had been queuing with him. Both of them had their patients. So, and that confidence that I had is that in case one disappears with my kid, I should go to the information desk, I get the information from there. When you get out with a kid, you must give a clearance form from the nurse. You see, so I can remember even the time when I was moving away to my twins uh, from the hospital, when I was being discharged, I was told that I should give a clearance. I had one clearance for the twins, but they insisted that I should have two clearance letters. The first whom I gave I told the police at Kenesh to arrest her. She's being arrested. She's in the custody. The horror of events, he says, unfolded in a manner of minutes. The hospital released a statement accepting that the infant was missing, saying the KNH is reviewing the CCTV footage and have given the police the same access. They were to go directly to the CCTV. They look at that particular time when the raid was coming. Who was she with? They haven't done that. They are saying they are waiting for someone from uh, England, I don't know, the ICT expert, to come so that he or she, I don't know, is he or she, can give a details of that ready. The hospital has, in the recent past, been on the spotlight of allegations on rape, mismanagement and security lacks at KNH. You can remember even the CEO, Madam Close, said, if you have the evidence, just come for the one who was raped so that you can assist you. He said that this is the visa at every corner to see who and who did that at what particular time. Now, why, where are these CCTVs? Where, why are they not assisting? Because I told them, give me even the picture of that ready so that I can give out to the media. The disappearance of Baby Prince might be the latest bad news for KNH, but for Job, KNH increasingly sick reputation is irrelevant. His priority is a reunion with his cherished son, a reunion that will uplift his ailing wife. Masi Kandietanui, Monday Special. Again, just unfortunate news out of K&H, and that's why we are 